What's going on everybody? Welcome to Flames and today we are going to be talking about why Fortnite is dead. Now I've been playing Fortnite for about a year and I've started playing it when the game came out when, when it was first released to PlayStation. Not say the world but the battle royale. I'm going to give you guys some keen details on why Fortnite is dying. Now this is only my opinion that Fortnite is dying and sometimes the statistics can show depending on the Twitch views rate and the amount of views that um, each streamer gets compared to other games and other games combined and other games views and so on so I want to give you guys the reasons why Fortnite is dying starting off on my number one reason why Fortnite is dying is because the bad loot now Fortnite keeps adding items every week almost every week and these items are sometimes good and other times the items are bad during Season 7, Fortnite released the planes. The planes, or the X4 wing, or whatever you guys would like to call it, is overpowered. No matter how many times they nerfed this plane, it's still going to be overpowered. From it bumping into you and making you take major fall damage, or lasering with its lasers or guns, or whatever the turret is on the front of it's called. Um, it's just stupid okay we don't need planes in the game and we definitely don't need as much movement as small as the map is now they did add in season seven a huge chunk in the corner um i think it was like six blocks added up all together they added um but i i still think it's stupid I, i'm not a big fan of them adding more movement we already have the four-wheeler the quad and the um go-kart and we also have the shopping cart and then planes and then plus all the rifts that we already had it's just stupid the plane is stupid take it out of the game heck even take out the quad crasher it's 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 also a bad aspect of it it's also a bad item in the game that they've added and it's just it's just dumb coming off of my number two spot on why fortnite's dying and it's not just the loot it, it's what they're adding to the map they keep adding and taking away all these simple places and adding these huge structures. Now the block is a great idea. It's a great way to implement um, other players' ideas and viewpoints on what should be on the Fortnite map. I love it. But Fortnite keeps adding these huge name locations like Hap Happy Hamlet where no one lands. No one lands there at all. Um, and, and then Junk Junction is also a bad place to land. And it's just Fortnite keeps adding all these main points of interest that people would like to land at but no one's gonna land at i mean add some place with a lot of loot that's not so big you know it's it's easy it's easy add it in and that's kind of what the block is for is like it's fun but people actually get to put stuff that they like in the game and coming off to number three is fortnite keeps getting sued fortnite keeps getting sued now the reason why fortnite keeps getting sued is because they add emotes into the game that like fortnite things will be bought you know they're cosmetics you ain't gotta have them and the people who sue on fortnite is suing them for stupid reasons but this is also gonna hurt the game some if fortnite's gonna keep being sued and these sues and the lawsuits go in and they go to court and they have to spend more money at court even though they may they may win the lawsuit they're still gonna lose some money going to court coming off number four fortnite it's just not fun anymore once you play a game so much you can only have so much fun you can only do something bring like unthinking just like hopping into the same match doing the exact same thing over and over and over you can only do that for so so long and it, it just gets annoying keep keep on doing it and it, it just gets on your nerves and all all the bad updates and everything else also adds to the game getting boring but a big part of it is that if you overplay a game, you're going to see a downfall, and you're also going to like lose interest. Coming off on our next spot is that Fortnite keeps nerfing stuff that does not need to be nerfed. Now, I, like I said, I like that they're nerfing the planes, and the planes was just horrible. Just take them out, vault them already. But nerfing, like controller, controller and PC, PS4 console, Xbox switch they have aim assist the reason why they have aim assist is because you're using your thumbs and these people on pc 
they own an Xbox or a PS4 and they hop on, play with the controller and they get a little bit of aim assist, they think that it's hacking. Now, you get your whole arm to aim with, right? I still don't know why they're complaining about it. It's because you guys get your whole arm and you guys still be console players in like tournaments and everything else. And it's just, it's crazy why why PC players are killing console players or making console players want to play less. Because they just released a nerf on aim assist and it's, it's horrible. You can't hit a shot. It's hard to hit your shots. Now I know aim assist does not have to be in the game. But it helps it helps a lot definitely when someone's building you have to be able to hit your shots you have to be able to hit your shots coming off of number six a reason why fortnite's dying fortnite's dying because other games are being released i know it's a stupid idea why fortnite's dying because other games are getting released companies release games and the gameplay you guys are seeing right now is anthem this is the anthem demo free play free for friday saturday and sunday uh, today's Saturday. Now you guys got one day left to download, play the demo, free demo, open demo, until the game gets released on the 22nd. So, the reason why Fortnite's dying as well is because other games are getting released. Red Dead 2, not played it a lot. I've seen a lot of gameplay of it. Um, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, that. It's a lot of controversy over it. Fallout 76, which is a horrible game, but it still got players who wants to play the game and people who love the franchise a lot who wants to play the game. You got Anthem, who's also taking a lot a lot of players that plays Fortnite. A lot of my friends have stopped playing Fortnite to play Anthem. A lot of my friends have stopped playing Fortnite to play Call of Duty. And there's just a whole lot more games coming out in the future, which is going to be popular. And it's going to be a big trend, and then it may die off like Fortnite has. Fortnite's dying. Fortnite's getting a lot of views. Coming off number seven, um, the streamers, streamers are just not doing what streamers are supposed to be doing. Like Ninja, he's um he's got a lot of controversy. He was w one time the biggest streamer on Twitch. Now I'm pretty sure it's um Tifu or something like that. But um he's getting a lot of controversy, a lot of drama going on because of Fortnite. And I'm not sure why people's not like everybody's hating on Ninja for reporting players and everything else. But that also probably has to do with p players getting reported, players getting banned, and everything else. And it's just, uh, it's a huge mess. And coming off on our last spot, number eight, why Fortnite is dying. Fortnite's dying because of these live events. Um, I just watched the Mellow event. It was crazy. Loved it. Um, probably the only reason why I'll hop on Fortnite anymore is just to watch the live events. Um, but... The reason why Fortnite's dying is because the live events, the last live event, bring back zombies, okay? And for, Fortnite Season 6 live event, bring back, or it might not have been live event, but uh, Fortnite Season 6 brought in zombies. And zombies, or these husks, are horrible. And Fortnite wants them in the game, no one wants them in the game. Nobody wants these zombies in the game. Maybe if the zombies were, like, in certain, certain parts of the map, but it was not like constantly in in the map you know they, they would drop like good loot kind of like call of duty implemented zombies in their game that's how fortnite should do it now that was just my opinion if you guys like today's video hit the like button subscribe i know my grammar's bad but you know can't really help it um so <laughs> hit the like button subscribe drop me some comments down below if you guys thought this video was cringy or not so, um, if you guys want to see some more gameplay of Anthem, some Fortnite gameplay, which I'm not going to be doing, my brother probably will, some Call of Duty, and, um, yeah, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, see you guys later, peace.